Biden directed the Department of Justice to begin declassifying some documents from the government's years-old investigation into the September 11th terrorist attack. The new executive order gives the attorney general six months to make documents public, with one review ordered to be completed by the 20th anniversary of the attacks next week. It states information should not remain classified when the public interest in disclosure outweighs any damage to the national security. The significant events in question occurred two decades ago. Like his predecessors, President Biden was facing pressure from victims' families. Hundreds had, in a recent letter, told the president he would not be welcome at memorial events unless he declassified material, specifically anything relating to whether Saudi Arabia's government played a possible role in the attacks. A huge chunk of the hijackers were Saudi. The bigger question with the Saudis is what did they actually know about some of these players, about some of their own citizens, and, and what was in their intelligence files prior to 9-11. So some of that might come out in documents released, and my guess is clearly some of it will not. Late last week, the Department of Homeland Security and FBI warning that foreign terrorist organizations could exploit the anniversary. The agency is saying in a bulletin sent to law enforcement leaders obtained by ABC News that they are not currently aware of any specific credible threats related to the date. To mark the anniversary next week, the president plans to travel to all three memorial sites in New York City, Shanksville, Pennsylvania, and at the Pentagon. Mary Alice Parks, ABC News, The White House.